Hello everyone, this is Ruth with AUW Site Resources. I'm going to be showing you how to create a page in your WordPress website today. Okay, so starting from your website, like I showed in the, uh, if you watched a previous tutorial about adding a post, you can start by logging in and you scroll to the bottom of your page and click login in the footer. Okay, this will take you to your login page. You can also bookmark your login page up here. You see you've got that extension wp-login.php you can bookmark this page so you don't have to start from your own website um, I'm going to go ahead and log in and here's our dashboard now to add a page um, it's very similar you're going to go over to the left and in the left side toolbar you're going to go through the list to pages and click on pages now pages are um, there are chunks of static information in your website, so these are things that you want people to see, you know, on a continuous basis. You know, we've got in our list here, sessions, calendar, events. These are all things that are going to stay. In fact, actually, probably more about us is the type of page you'll have in your own website. So about us, welcome, things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a new page by uh, clicking the add new button right next to our title at the top. So click add new. And I'm going to make a page about AUW. So I'm already, you can see my, my cursor is already here in the title box. It's right above our text editing box. And I'm just going to type in AAUW history. Okay. You always want to give your page a title. And um, you'll see that WordPress automatically has made a link for it that corresponds to your title. That's why you want to make sure it's descriptive. Um, I will talk more about permalinks in a later tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste in some text right here. I did that by clicking on um, inside my text editing box. You can see the cursors in there so that you can write you know, directly in it. This should look familiar to Microsoft Word. Um, very similar to Microsoft Word. If you saw my tutorial about posts, it's basically the same the same interface here. You can make bold text, you can add italics, strike through, you can make lists, either unordered or ordered. And you can see, all I did was I clicked on the button to add the ordered list. So see, now I have one, two, three, four. And then if I want to take that off, don't don't click your cursor in there and like, oh, you know, backspace like that. You don't want to do that. Um, you would just want to, for example, you click it on, and then you can click it right off, right from that button at the top. Okay. So as I said in past tutorials, you can align your text either way. Um, and this is all very similar to Microsoft Word. For those of you that are familiar with HTML, again, uh, you can toggle between the visual box and the HTML box by using the tabs in the upper right and add your own tags if you so choose. Clean up your code there. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, see how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and save my draft. If I wanted to come back to it later, I can now. It's been saved. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like, by the way. Um, if you want to go back to your Pages menu, look back over to the left-hand side, and again, through the list, choose Pages. And now you can see I have AUW History, and it's right there. And I can go back into Edit. And um, let's say you know you want to see what it looks like um, before you publish it. So in order to do that, we will look to the upper right. You've got a publishing box here. Oops. I've moved it. You can actually move your boxes around. This is your work area, so I don't know if you can see down there, there's kind of a ghost of my publish box. I can drag it back up to the top. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that when I go over the, uh, the dashboard. So I've dragged it back over. Now it's second in my list and now it's top. Okay, so within the publishing box I'm going to click the button that says preview and look at my post. 
Okay, so here's what it would look like on my website. And because I was messing around in there with all my alignment, it looks kind of bad. So let's say, gosh, that looks really bad. I want to go back and change it. Um, well, right from within your preview box, there's an edit link. And you can click that to go back and edit. Or you actually opened into a new window. So you can X out of that window and you're back in your editing box here as well. Okay, so let's say I want to make this look a lot cleaner. Let's align it to the left by clicking the Align Left button in the toolbar. And let's take out the bold because it's just distracting. And now I have two nice clean paragraphs. Okay, so let's preview again. And that looks much better. Okay, so I can X out of my preview. And now I'm ready to publish. So I'm going to look again to the right in my publish box and click the blue button that says publish. Okay, and now it has been published. I can click here to view the page. In this uh, highlighted box here, it says view page. And there it is. Okay, so thank you for watching, and there are more to come.